Earlier today, there was a very large crowd here at Pismo Pier to witness the Slow Cal Open. And I spoke to several surfers who tell me the importance of having this surf competition right here on the Central Coast. Surfers are flocking to Pismo Beach with dreams as high as the waves. Three, two, one. <laughs> The Slow Cal Open featuring 252 competitors in search of prize money worth up to $8,000 as well as a shot to reach the Challenger Series. Right now this, this event's you know proving itself to hang with bigger towns like Santa Cruz and Huntington. They both had solid waves but I think we've actually had the biggest wave so far of the year. The competition including surfers from all across the country. I arrived here not too long ago but I, I've never been here before. I spent my summers up in uh, Huntington Beach area. But this is a totally different like wa like water. It's like so much colder. I'm not used to it. For Pismo, this is a big deal because we're uh, putting this event on one of the slowest weeks of the year for uh, hotels and restaurants and local businesses. With the event offering the opportunity for pro surfers from all walks of life to come together. It ticks off a lot of boxes. It helps the city. It helps our organization and it helps the athletes. They really need this event. It's such a cool experience. There's like people I've watched ever since I've been a little kid and now I'm like surfing in a heat with them. So it's like it gets the heart beating a little bit quicker, but it's also fun at the same time because you learn. For surfer Austin Newman, the event is a homecoming. It's super cool to be from here, you know, know the wave. Um, it's cool to see like a bunch of people too coming into town from all over the world. Newman began his surfing career while growing up in Pismo Beach. I've surfed here my whole life, so I know the wave, the in and out of it. A career that is 13 years in the making. I lived in eight minute walk of the street and I lived there for like 10 years. I just pretty much fell in love. I surfed literally every single day still do pretty much. Giving Newman a home fan base consisting of those who knew him and those who dream of being where he is today. I love seeing those kids, you know, have this event to watch and be stoked to someday, you know, compete in. Not only was there a large crowd here on the pier, in particular, there was a massive crowd for the hometown kid Newman who punched his ticket to the group of 64 with a W today. So he's moving on. As for other action moving forward, the women will be participating in the surf events on Wednesday. There's also supposed to be a rather large crowd in attendance on Thursday and Friday, as well as throughout the rest of the weekend. Reporting in Pismo Beach, Dusty Baker, KSBY News.